All right, today I'm going to go through what we have in um, my Vito Pro Tech MC bag. Just my everyday carry. So I'm just going to go through every tool that I, um, that I own in here. So first, let's start off with our... This is electrical slash refrigerant side, so I like to keep a spare battery. It's the M12, so I just keep one of those. Got my Subco Redfish meter. Some meter probes here. Got a little level. I believe that's a eight inch, maybe ten inch level. Some crescent wrench. Yeah. Got some wire cutters and some wire strippers. I keep multiple sets of wire strippers. I keep one in my bag, my um, my hip carry bag, but I like to have a set in here just for, just in case I don't have my other bag on me. So we've got Testo Smart Probes. I like to keep these, um, tips on them that way it keeps the crud from getting in getting in the um, fittings here also if you don't use these low loss fittings I highly recommend getting set of these low loss fittings because um, it really makes the tool a lot more usable um, otherwise you'll probably be getting burnt pretty frequently on the high high lot high side got the um, testo um, 115 eyes. Also keep a couple of the, the um, these are Schrader core removers. I like to use these for pulling down vacuum. Um, pull out the Schrader, Schrader valves and just, um, you know, just the vacuum's a lot quicker that way. Also, I've got a couple mini split adapters. I'm not sure what their size is, but they're just reducers. Um, also, I've got an inspection mirror. In these pockets, I keep different variety of bits. So I've got a whole bit there. A standard, I think that's a half inch. Yeah, half inch here. And then I've got a step bit as well. Also, I keep a few sockets, smaller, um, you know, sockets. These are standard size that you see in the field. Uh, 930 seconds got a probably half inch uh, about three eighths I mean so and I also use that along with this here adapter so I can use them with my just use them with my drill so that's why you're not going to see a socket wrench in here um, also, I've got a tape squeegee. Keep one of those on hand because you never know when you need it. I've got some wire nuts, some large wire nuts, some terminal connectors, male and female. Keep some super glue. This here is just going to be O-rings and gaskets for my hoses and my low loss fittings. Also got some Schrader core 
Uh, Straighter valves there. Box of small matches. And my copper tube cutter. Other than that, that's basically it. Got a couple other uh, small things in there, but nothing too important. So now we can swing on to the other side here. Keep my drill. I usually keep my drill in my belt, but that's just part of my carry there. Um, I've got a brush here, cleaning coils and different things like that. Also some jumpers, these come in handy. Pen and a marker. Also here you notice I've got a, a hose here, a refrigerant hose. I use this for charging with my um, Testo Smart Probes. Now this side, got a couple more precision instruments here. Got my Milwaukee um, K-Type. It's basically a dual thermometer. Field piece uh, psychrometers. Testo 405i, it's an anemometer there. Measuring air. Um, airflow and velocity. It's also got a temperature uh, probe on it. Also got um, keep a pipe cutter, um, PVC cutter in there as well. Nine and one wrench. Essentially, this wrench it's just got the large Phillips flathead. Then we've got small Phillips small flathead as well as this um this square bit here two sizes on that that's a decent screwdriver um also i've got a vein anemometer here cps vein anemometer keep the selfie stick for reaching taller registers with it I'll do my traversing. Here I've got a um, combustible gas leak detector. It's pretty decent. Also keep my keep my um, field piece dual manometers. Checking static pressure, gas pressures, things like that. Keep some WD-40. And I've got a couple um, thermal imagers. Seek and a FLIR. Um, they're pretty decent. I mean, they've got okay resolution. Some fittings for my manometers, larger hoses. Up here, I just keep my K type probes for the um, Milwaukee. As well, I've got some Allen keys, standard and metric sizes. 9 volt batteries and a double A battery in there as well. And a couple small screwdrivers. I think that's it for the inside. So now, oh yeah, the outside. Oh, let's see here. I like to keep this magnet um, 
just never know when you're going to need it. I like to use it for keeping the um, switches, door switches closed. Also, I keep the screws in the same pouch so the screws stay stuck to the magnet so they don't fall out everywhere. Got batteries. I keep batteries in this pouch as well. Spare on triple A's and double A's. In this side, just my fuses. That's it. So that's basically everything. Oh yeah, electrical tape. So yeah, as you can see, I set my rig up for um, diagnostic for light, commercial, and standard residential. So I don't have too many hand tools in here. I see a lot of guys who have just basically like a boatload of hand tools, screwdrivers, and crescent wrenches and stuff. But um, yeah, I just like the precision tools, tools that'll give me a little bit more of a look inside of what the equipment's doing. So um, yeah, this is basically my setup. Also, I've got a smaller bag as well that I keep just on my hip. It's got a pretty good variety as well, but yeah, this is about it. Thanks. Bye now.